I'm Adam Malkin. Right now, it's one of those oh cool technologies that you may have used once or twice for its wow factor, but for most of us, it hasn't really made its way into our daily lives. Augmented reality. Helping to change that, though, is this, one of two Augmented World Expos. This is the smaller New York version. The big one is held in a few months in Santa Clara, California. Augmented reality in simple terms is about overlaying computer graphics on the real world. But it's so much more than that. It's really about making the world more interactive through a digital layer that allows us to communicate with things around us. So maybe you've seen ads in magazines or on movie posters that'll pop out at you when you point your mobile device or webcam at them. Right now, AR is primarily designed to work with 2D images, but companies like Matayo are trying to make everything in our 3D world a trigger for this technology. When you have a, a dynamic object like a car, a lot of round edges, really shiny, doesn't really play nicely with a monocular camera view. To conquer that challenge, what we do is we break down uh, the car into basically its core edges. You know, and it doesn't just have to be a car, we can do it with basically any object. And since the camera is looking for the edges of the object, it can actually like recognize it, track it. And well, right now, when you think of augmented reality, you probably think of video games or advertising. There are some practical solutions on the horizon. Sight Augmented works with wearables like these glasses to help augment the real world, make it more visible for people with vision problems. The uh, augmented side or section of the display is where they're actually recognizing the text. So we can adjust the magnification range of the, of the uh, text itself, plus add more contrast. Augmented reality is also finding uses everywhere from classrooms to helping technicians find and repair problems on things like cars or computers. Adam Balkin, New York One.